Welcome to a brief tour of the mobile app editor. Once inside the editor, you have two main options. You can choose to edit content or functionality. We'll look at content first. Here are the different buttons or tabs inside your app. Right now, we're on the About Us tab. Inside the About Us tab, there are 10 sub pages. Let's take a look at editing one of these pages. When we click Edit, the content of the page is brought up. We can simply type new content here in order to edit that page on the app. We can also make this page inactive or change the picture or change the title. When we've made our changes, we click Save Changes and the app has been updated. We can also easily reorder the way these pages appear inside the tab. Let's take a look at editing events. Events are slightly different because you can create single events or recurring events. Either way, the events disappear when their time expires. Editing event is the same as editing one of the pages, although there are a few more features. There are comments available, and you can delete those comments if there's any you don't like. Let's take a quick look at the functionality tab. Here we can reorder the main buttons or tabs inside the app. We can delete a tab. We could edit it by changing its name, making it inactive, or changing the icon. Or we could create a brand new tab that uses any of the functionalities already available. Here we can send push notifications. This is a powerful feature which lets you send a message to all the app users that have subscribed. You simply type your message here, choose the devices, choose a geographical location. You'll probably choose everyone. You can make the push notification open up to a website URL or to a specific page inside the app. Then when you're ready, you click publish or say publish at a certain time. The analytics button lets you see how many people are using the app, where they are in the world, and which pages inside the app they're using. QR codes let you easily download QR codes, which you can print out for people to easily scan and download your app. This concludes our brief tour of the mobile app editor.